Right, so this is the David Brown electric tractor. Um, this is how we turn it on. So turn on the key, which is the 12 volt supply, uh, and then pre-charge the two motors. So I'm going to start the main motor first, which is the drive motor. So turn the pre-charge on. You see the cycle analyst display starts. Uh, that one's warming or pre-charging. I'll flip the one for the PTO motor and that can pre-charge as well. Um, should be good to go now with the um, sitting the main conductor for the uh, main mate motor. So you can hear the click of the contactor. Um, and now that it's pre-charged we can actually switch it down to position 2 which is the run straight. And you hear a little beep and it's good to go. So um, got a foot controller for that motor so I'll press that now and you should hear the motor start and here it goes spinning and you can see the amps on the display it's drawing 8.8 .8, nearly 9 amps 8 to 9 amps and just running at sort of an idle probably around 2000 revs there now if I put my foot down, you can see the amps come up to 10. Obviously, as it gets under load, that amps will come up. Right, let's do the same with the PTO side. We'll turn on the, the, the master. Like it. And you can hear the main contact go. And then we can switch it to run state. And that's good to go now too. I've got a beeping sound. Oh, my uh, brakes on. That's right. So I've got uh, obviously brakes here for uh, being able to stop it. So if we just turn up the, the control for the PTO, that motor should kick into life. running a little bit better at 3.7 amps, wind it up, 4, 4 amps, 5 amps, so uh, you can see it's uh, so yeah, that's, that's the uh, David Brown tractor. Obviously, it'll run once we get some pulleys and be able to connect it up to the drive shafts. So, uh, um, I hope you found that informative in the meantime.